day two is here. We're just porcelain's gone to collect the pupa, so we you know notice we've got a lot of uh, maggots in there, but we didn't get the pupa that we needed. Richard enjoying a view and a cup of tea. Um, and so we weren't going to have flies for the week that Richard's here. So we've ordered some pupa from a supplier in Kampala and he's put them on a bus. So they should be at the bus park. And um, I'm just working on this polytunnel this morning with uh, Richard. And, uh, so we've built a couple of couple of bits that we got. So these, I don't know if you can see them, I guess like a T. The plan is that the hoops for the polytunnel will um, fit on top of that and that will provide us the support we need. But we just need to sort of sketch out where we're going to do that. But it's it's nice, nice day so far and it's not too hot so good opportunity to do a bit of work before it gets too hot. Um, so let me just show you briefly what we're going to do. So these T's will go into the ground so that will be sort of maybe the where my fingers are is where the soil will come up then we put that that will be sticking up and then these pipes which are very flexible will fit just right and that will hold it in place so you can imagine that will be hooped up so we just need to sketch out where we want to do it they're not quite long enough so we'll have to make some joins so we've got a couple of sample pieces just to work out how we're going to join them together but they'll be under tension of the flex so you don't want them to snap so that's what we're trying to do today um just clear the site a bit they did move most of the big logs but i want to sort of use up as much of this space as we can because well why not um so it's just a bunch of rubbish and stuff but you can just sort of clear the site a bit right we've got this thing up i'll show it to you in a, in a moment but just moving this log i don't even like to see these termites Pretty cool, aren't they? I wonder if that's the soldier ones with the big heads. Uh, yeah, they look pretty cool. Just got the got the doctor in the house who's look, helping us with the maggots. Um, sorry, we've just been joking at each other because about imposter syndrome, hence my little joke. Um, but you can see here we're turning it, and we're just pointing out there's a lot of uneaten uh, things here. Uh, and that's because the conditions, normally at the bottom, it's because the conditions there are the worst for the maggots. So low oxygen, high carbon dioxide, uh, quite wet. Um, and so they don't particularly like that. So we are just turn it every day carefully so we don't kill that many. And then we'll have a chance to eat this stuff and it brings oxygen back into the, into the mix. Because they are, they need oxygen to, to breathe and produce CO2. Yeah. It smells doesn't smell too bad. Rotting vegetables. But uh yeah, not from the faint hearted. Uh and out here uh we have not much progress. Well actually quite a lot, it's the planning, right? That's what takes a lot of time. So we've planned everything, we've got materials in order, and these are the posts that we're gonna put in. I'm just sort of getting the string and making sure we're level as best we can. There's one of the beams that's gone across but it's all flopped over because there's no support there. We'll get that sorted and then I'll show you how this machine works. A bit scary, a bit sketchy. Uh, so yeah, but we're going to break for lunch uh, shortly but I'm hoping the materials will arrive for lunch and then we can get a good head start um, on these items that we need and then we'll go to the farm this afternoon. So I'm just showing you what goes into the, the waste. This has been turned over, we haven't fed them yet see how, how grey it is, they've basically devoured everything that's there. And this is the fresh stuff that we're adding. So we've got our cabbage leaves, watermelon, there's uh, what else have we got in here? Oranges, mangoes. Um, so they're a pretty good diet. This is uh, premium stuff, so it's good nu nutrition. And uh, we're just sort of going to play around and think we've got the right mixes. So we might add a bit of manure, go 50-50, something like that. But Apologies about the mess, but I wanted to show you this device that we're going to use 
um, to put join the pipes together. Uh, it's joined up, giving great confidence, but you can see they've used a plastic bag to join the wires here to this. So that's perfectly safe. And it comes all the way over here. And uh, it's connected directly into the wires. So um, as soon as I find, I don't think there's any on off switch, so as soon as I turn that on, I'll get some heat in there. Um, and I'll show you how it works. Right, so hopefully you can see this. So this is red hot. So uh, mum, don't look at me doing this without gloves. So you stick, I can feel the heat coming off it. Stick the pieces in. The key I've found is you wanna stick them in as far as you can. And then it melts the plastic. And then you take them off. And then you quickly put them back together. And that creates a firm seal. And already that's, I can't take that off. Which is pretty good. And then you need to heat up that end. Send a bit of pipe on the other bit. But I'll uh, connect them all up and then I'll show you the result. Teach them come out how to do this. I see. Um, but it's, this is, you know, African hospitality. I spilled my cup of coffee. That's what they bring me. Nice little basket with some coffee so I can make another coffee. The maids here, wonderful. I love it. They've got to love that hospitality. It, it is raining at the moment, so we've done a bunch of these pieces and we'll maybe take a pause to see how it goes. A few moments later. I've got the frame up, which is great. Uh, some of the legs, this metal's too fat, so we have to swap that. And then these two pieces broke, so we need to get those bits. Um, but I think, generally, the frame is there. Um, slightly wobblier than I thought it might be. And you can see some of the bowing of the uh, arches, or the hoops. But I think once we, we, the plan is we'll have like a wooden see this piece here it's gonna go like a door frame but it goes up down all the way both ends and then we hang mesh so with the flies can escape um, that will really help I think with the rigidity and then when also you put the fabric across that will also tension it a bit like a tent um, and then we might even put some cross pieces of wood from up down up down zigzag zig zigging along um, and that should hopefully help so, yeah, not bad. Still day two. We're going to go to the farm now with some larvae and see how they do. Um, these are the bits of timber that we'll need for the frame. So exciting uh, for us because we're about to see if our fingerlings, which are last we measured about 10 gram, I'm hoping they're maybe 20 grams now, will take the flex soldier fly larvae. So what we do is we put them on this uh, mesh. They've been on here for a bit. And they don't like the, the, the light, so they'll burrow down to escape. And then when they, but little do they know, as they burrow down, they just fall through. You can see them dropping, and we can collect them. Um, so we, this isn't the optimal process. We'll build some special uh, meshes uh, so it doesn't get too so mucky. Um, and the other issue we've got with this is the substrate's too wet. So we need to get some sawdust just to just soak up some of the water because we're feeding them a lot of fruit, which obviously you know, water now is mostly water, right? So once we've um, got the substrate mix a bit better, it's not so wet and gloopy, we'll have less mortality, so some of the BSF are drowning um, or lacking oxygen. Um, but it also means that harvesting is a bit trickier. So if you see like that one, it's probably it might be a goner. Is it a goner? Maybe. So uh, we don't want to be losing them, we want them to wriggle out themselves. Uh, and then this stuff left behind, well this is actually to hasn't been totally digested yet, but eventually it'll turn to nice great compost as one wriggling. 